Hi, this is Dr. Priyanka Arkuri, Consultant Dermatologist, Aster Hospital Wide Fade. Today we are going to talk about one of the most common pediatric dermatosis, which is atopic dermatitis. Now, atopic dermatitis is a part of eczema, which is characterized by dry, itchy, erythematous skin. Now, why does this atopic dermatitis happen? One is mainly due to the immune dysregulation, that is type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, and the other one is a deficiency of protein called as filaggrin in the skin. Now what does this protein do? The filaggrin actually makes a nice barrier uh, effect in the skin. So when there is a barrier, any dust or allergen will not cause exaggeration of this inflammatory condition. Now when this filaggrin is deficient, it's gonna cause a disruption in the barrier in the skin. So whenever we are exposed to dust, mites or allergen, so these aggravation of the skin conditions and inflammation of the skin condition can happen. Now people with atopic dermatitis usually are also associated with allergic rhinitis as well as asthma. The mainstay of the treatment here is moisturizers. As you know that there is a barrier defect, so we need to add moisturizer or we need to add a barrier to the skin. Now the moisturizer acts as an excellent barrier and prevent the exaggeration of this disease. So now what the second mainstay of the treatment here is topical steroids. Now the topical steroids act as an excellent anti-inflammatory agents, but as we all know, the long-term usage of topical steroids is going to be harmful to the skin. So we need to minimize the usage of cortical st topical steroids. Now I'm going to give you a few home care tips how to prevent the usage of long-term usage of these topical corticosteroids. The first and foremost thing is the clothing, especially in children with atopic dermatitis. The clothing has to be a cotton clothing. Uh, why? Because it absorbs the sweat and it doesn't cause irritation of the skin. Next is we have to avoid too much of synthetic clothes or woolen directly touching the hand or the directly touching the body. Now these woolen fibers or the synthetic fibers will cause exaggeration of this atopic dermatitis. But in winters it is always advisable to wear a cotton lining inside and then you can wear a sweatshirt or a jacket over the top of the cotton lining. Now the next is the usage of uh, cleansers. Now what kind of cleansers have to be used for the children in atopic dermatitis? The cleanser has to be mainly a pH balanced cleanser. It should not be too harsh. It should not be too drying. Or it should not cause too much of drying of the skin. So it should, all, it should be always a pH balanced cleanser. And make sure the baby or the child always has bath with lukewarm water. Now very hot water or very cold water will cause excessive drying of the skin. Now whenever there is too much of drying of the skin, there are minute cuts in the skin. So when, again when these people are ex, uh, exposed to allergens or dust, again there will be an exaggeration of this inflammation. So it is always advisable to have bath with lukewarm water. And immediately and after having bath, it is advisable to have applied good amount of moisture moisturizer within five minutes of having bath because the skin is still moist and there are open pores so that the moisturizer is absorbed in the skin. Next is to avoid long hours of bath, long hours of bathing. So you should not allow the child to sit in the bathtub or in the bucket for long hours. No using cleansers which cause, which cause excessive of foaming. So long hours of bath have to be avoided. Next is sweating. Sweating also exaggerates uh, uh, atopic dermatitis. So that has to be also prevented. But it doesn't mean that you will not send the child to play. So make sure that once the child is back from the play or from the play area you wash away the dust and allergens but it doesn't mean that you will cause repeated washing or repeated uh, uh, cleansing of the body so it is advised mainly like two times a day, day to have bath or you can do a sponge bath once the patient once the child comes back to the uh, home after uh, after the play or the uh, after the play or anywhere from the outside. Next is try to use humidifier in the home. Now when you use a humidifier in the house or in the room, it settles down your pollen or dust or mites which are there in the room. So always use a humidifier or as if you can't afford a humidifier or if you can't use a humidifier, you can just keep a bowl of water in the room which actually helps to keep the uh, uh, weather or keep the environment more moist. Now, 
even the exaggerating factors are uh, the uh, blankets sometimes so the blankets which have fur have to be avoided use a, always a cotton blanket so that there is no exaggeration there is no uh, fur or those uh, cotton those fibers in the air next is avoid using of perfumes powders or any scented oils bath oils can be used just add a little bit of uh, unscented bath oils in the water itself and then have bath next is oatmeal bath now oatmeal bath is an excellent uh, moisturizer as as well as anti-inflammatory action so what do you do in oatmeal bath is take a bland oats put it in a, a grinder uh, add a little bit of water make it a fine milky paste just apply it all over the body keep it for leave it for five minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water it can be done weekly once so it acts as an excellent moisturizer and an anti-inflammatory action and helps prevents the exacerbation of this atopic dermatitis uh, so the main key here in atopic dermatitis is moisturizers which has to be applied at least three to four times a day and to prevent over abuse or abuse of your topical corticosteroids so please don't uh, self medicate yourself with steroids and then if any exaggeration in the atopic dermatitis please be free to consult us at astra hospital whitefield we are happy to help you here thank you <laughs>